welcome ladies and gentlemen we are now here with part three bah, 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 bah. part three we're using, still using the vgc king team uh as you see the number of battles i've done on this one is nine so this is literally my last battle that i did that night because it was two in the morning and i was tired and finally we face off against the xerneas team now xerneas is interesting uh xerneas is a very good mon as well uh but i think versus this team that i have possibilities now i wasn't sure if i had to bring seeking but like this Cernius team has a zapdos so i was like damn i just gotta i just gotta i gotta bring the seeking because seeking can also like uh icy wind can scald uh is also very interesting of course uh he's as well for the Xerneas because they don't expect haze from a seeking honestly what would you expect from seeking if you see a seeking flopping around while well, you have a magical giant ass reindeer and a thunderbird in front of like uh got like and versus that fish you would not care about that fish but that damn fish shows you that you fucked up that fish will tell you no nah, bro no nah, bro you done fucked up I will haze you! How dare you disrespect me? Like, that's honestly it. Like, I can't even see. Like, I just lead the same thing. Like, cause like, Seeking, I can switch in for the electric move. Um, but yeah, Whimsicott plus Kyogre is strong. I can still protect, uh, protect Encore with Whimsicott as well on the possible, uh, Rillaboom if they bring it. Stuff like that. You know? Quite easy. And there you go. Real Boom Plus Cernius. What do you do with this kind of lead? What do you do with this kind of lead? What do you do with this kind of lead? Honestly, destroy them. Look, in a situation where there's a Xerneas next to a Real Boom, the only thing, the only thing that the Real Boom will go for is Fake Out. Now, I could pre double protect and let the Xerneas get his Geomancy. Or I could on uh, Tailwind and uh, do my water move, so I'm sure that this Xerneas will take a lot of damage. But then if the real boom goes for Grassy Light, I die. So it's hard to see. So I go for Protect the Kyogre. I still have Encore with my Whimsicott. I can just save my Tailwind right now, so that I'm sure that I have it next turn. And we see Grassy Light coming from the real boom. Xerneas goes for Geomancy. And now, we're in a situation where we're like, Oh dang, did I fuck up? Did I misplay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the beautiful thing about this, because I still have the magic word. Say it with me, six letters, it's Encore. It's not hard. We just don't call the Xerneas. Because then the Xerneas is stuck in this, we can keep doing it. We can switch to Scissor against that Rillaboom, Making sure that we are uh, that we are in a better position than this Xerneas. There we go, Encore. Even if protected, Encore. If we did something else, Encore. I don't care, Encore. And the little one goes for Grassy Light. As you see, doesn't do anything. Xerneas has to go for Geomancy. Now I can just bullet punch this Xerneas. Uh, I don't one hit kill it. Honestly, I might, instead of like, because uh, I, uh, I had safety goggles on my scissors so I could be sure to hit the Xerneas, but like, it's just not strong enough for Xerneas. Like, scissor might have a spot in this meta, but it's not with that, I feel. So yeah, the Zapdos comes in, I can, I want to try Encore the Little boom there as well. I just give a bullet punch, and as you see, doesn't even do 50. It's kind of embarrassing, honestly. Like, damn, bro, your scissor. Uh, so that was kind of oof. Now this zone is about to be plus four, so it's kind of you know it's kind of getting scary on some end as well. Um, this saddles could go for a hurricane, for example, as well, which is also not the greatest. So I just want some chip on the Xerneas. Could also go for a heat wave. 
Uh, there's a lot of this here can happen. Like, this honestly does not look like a favorable position for me. I'll be real. I'll just see it. You know what the craziest part is about, like, um, this scissor? This scissor is jolly. Maybe I should have made it adamant so I'm sure to do it kill. Maybe the Xerneas is, like, super bulky. But, like, damn, I did not expect, like, I needed to do this much to try and kill a Xerneas, you know? Goes for a hurricane. On my women's account. Women's account, luckily. <gasps> Sash! This is the first time you guys saw it. But you saw it in the preview, so I don't know why I'm getting so cocky. And we see that this Zabu's as well as life work. Now, simply said, this Zabu's, this Zabu's right there, could go for protect. Could, like, Zerneus could go for protect. And this uh, Zabu's could go for heat wave. Possibly. Does a spread move like heat wave kill my scissor? It might. Certainly, because that's life of Zabu's. <laughs> So we go for protect my whims cop just to check if this uh, Xerneas has protect as well. He might have it, have it, but he didn't want to click it because I was gonna go on core again. So yeah, that thing goes down. So that's great for me. Thunderbolt goes out to the scissor, and as you see, a lot of damage. Like honestly, holy heck. Live orb did a lot. Like I'm HP invested as well on scissor, but not like spadev invest, but my Sheesh, bro, it did a lot. Well, yeah, now we see Scissor still doing great. Like, honestly, no complaints there. Scissor kicking ass. Xerneas is down. Up hoy. You know, Roboon comes in. Uh, I can't protect with the Whimsical anymore, so uh, Roboon can perfectly uh, fake out. And maybe the Zapos has Heat Wave. We still don't know. Uh, if it has, it's possibly because I honestly expect it not to have. I expect it to uh, for itself to have tailwind, but apparently it doesn't get that in this generation. So I didn't know. But yeah, then again, a lot of Pokemon don't get tailwind uh, this generation. Like Toolkit doesn't get it, Cartana doesn't get it right now. Yeah, as you see, Rolbun goes for Fake Out. Uh, I go to Seeking in case he goes for um, what should we call it? Thunderbolt, so I see you could take it, but to show off the heat wave. So now it's suddenly way scarier, isn't it? But we did see a move from this transfer uh, loop. That wasn't grassy light. <laughs> that was fake out. You faked out, and I still have my whimsical. You fool. I will now encore you into fake out, making sure you don't do anything anymore and that you have to switch out. And then you can finally see what your last one is because I still don't know what it is. But instead of switching out the Rillaboom, because I expected him to switch out the Rillaboom, so switch switches in the Urshifu. It's the rain or shifu as well. Water or shifu. So, um, yeah. I just go for ice wind, go for chip. And the speed goes slower. And that means I can moon blast the, uh, the or shifu as well. Because the Rillaboom can't do anything. I'm free to ice wind plus uh, moon blast into the or shifu. The or shifu doesn't really do anything against my seeking as well, like close combat will hurt if it's a banned version of course but i should survive from this range certainly with the grassy terrain here and i still have a mago berry as well my seeking is more defensive than special defensive because i'm afraid of station yeah i can just try and kill the shifu riddle boom is not a threat right now like riddle boom uh also shifu could go for example uh could go for aqua jet Rillaboom does switch out, so we do see the Elector coming out. We do know that Ice is super effective on your boy, uh, the flying type. I do see an Aqua Jet, but my Whimsicott takes it. So I Moon Blast, and as you see, a lot of damage doesn't go down yet, but with the Grassy Terrain as well. I will never, never die with my Whimsicott thanks to the Grassy Terrain. I'm making all of this slower because he needs Rillaboom in the back 
to be sure to kill my Kyogre. So I need to try and stall out that terrain. If I stall out that terrain, I can't Grassy Glides uh, till infinity me. Then he has to, for example, choose target between Seeking and uh, Kyogre. Obviously he should go for Kyogre then. But Seeking will still do damage. And certainly with Icy Wind. It's chip. Chip is chip, man. Zardos goes for the Protect. And honestly, at this point I was like, why? I can encore you again. Like I could encore, but like I could also risk the uh, ri couldn't risk the what should we call it the Rillaboom going for fake out. So it's like okay, or I don't protect with Mimsicom and I get an encore on this Zapdos, or I uh, encore do protect Rillaboom does fake out and he's stuck again in fake out. Honestly, I would not expect him to be to me a, a dumb play. So I go just go for protect for Wimscop, trying to stay safe. Because honestly the Sablos is slower than my own seeking right now, being minus two speed. I go for double protect. Just wanna scout. But he does go for Fika. He did! Why? Who's for heat wave? All right, we will go down. But honestly, I don't care. I could even encore that Zapdos right now as well. But no, I need that Rillaboom gone. So I'm just gonna encore the Rillaboom because he went for a fake out. Why? <laughs> and Grassy Terrain is gone. So now that Rillaboom is slower as well, and I can just safely go for a nice wind, and I can go for encore on this Rillaboom. My wounds are gone, might die. Perish even. But it don't matter. I got Encore on deck, bro. Wounds got even avoids the heat wave. Dodging it. Live Orb. Has to go for Fake Out. Ah, for two more turns. Icy Wind. Alright, maybe, maybe, the thing what I'm more showcasing in this video isn't as much as Seeking. I do think Seeking has a spot. Like VG Seeking, I will always believe. But holy heck, if I haven't proved to you how strong Encore can be, I don't know what to say. Like, I honestly don't. Encore is so powerful. It blocks off your opponent's of the, uh, options so fast as well. Just go for Moonblast, making sure that this is gone, and I can always, always uncard Rillaboom. So yeah, honestly, if you had to get anything away, like Uncard is strong, but on the other hand, the other thing that I want you to get away, if you have a Pokemon you want to use, you can use it, like just. It can't always hunt it can't always 100 percent be good. But in certain situations, you can make sure that it works. I just go for scarf for birds, honestly. It's over, the game is over. just keep chipping it and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the, these three battles and i'll see you guys next time bye